Oh, wow, this is an awesome hand. Board number six of the common game. Uh, seven, five in the minors. Um, yeah, wow. Um, right. These hands are like really tricky to bid. It's always got a bit of guesswork. What do you do with these ones? Like, there's no like right or wrong answer. You just have to guess what you actually have to do. Um, but basically I don't really want to let my opponents play, but we'll see what actually comes up. I thought I was going to bid on the last hand. Now I will be bidding on this one. Um, right. So do I game force on this? I guess so. Um... Right. Wow, they haven't bid. If I bid two clubs... Oh. Uh, like, if I bid a no trump, the auction's not going to stop there. Like... Uh, like, I think bidding two clubs is fine. But, like, there's just no way that uh, the auction is going to go, like, one spade, one no trump, all pass. Ooh, two clubs... So we play, this is artificial and an inquiry. Um, and here, um, so we play something like Gazilli here. Um, so Laura's either got any invitational hand or any hand that, uh, want, or a two spade rebid. So she's either got six spades or any invitational hand and I've just shown eight or more points. So I'm willing to show an invite. And now she said that she's got an invitational hand with five spades and four hearts. So we're in a game force. Um, right. Okay. So, Laura's got at least five spades, so I'll just bid three clubs. Let her round out my, her shape. This is a really messy hand, where, where this is just natural three club by me. And she'll repeat one of her suits saying that, yeah, I've got... Um, yeah, like, she'll just bid three hearts or three spades, like... I know that no trumps is probably where we're going to end up because, oh wow. She's got five spades, four hearts, and some good diamonds. Um, this is a terribly misfitting hand. Um, wow. Ah. Oh. Yuck. Like, I, I think we might be able to make slam in a minor. I have no idea what my bids mean after this. I really don't want to... Like, three no trumps could be the right spot, but she would have repeated one of her suits if she had one. Um, let's just bid something really awkward. Let's bid four diamonds. I have no idea what this means. Um... But I think, like, Laura's most likely shape is five spades, four hearts, three diamonds, and a stiff club. And six diamonds could be pretty good opposite that. Also, three no might be terrible, because we've just got, like, this misfitting hand. Like, we, we clearly haven't discussed what any of these bids actually mean at, at this stage. Um... This is just like a terribly messy auction. If I started with two clubs, it would have gone two clubs, two hearts. I'm still like really stuffed up after that. Um, okay, five clubs. Alright, fine. Fine. 
I think I've done okay at describing my hand. Like, there's just no way I can actually describe this hand, right? Wow, double. Wow. Okay, sure. Let's see uh, what comes down. Well, five clubs doubled is making. Um, we have no heart losers. Diamonds, we might have a fifth round diamond loser. Um, we have a club fit. So at this stage, I think she'll just run the Queen of Clubs, losing to North. Um, how would 3-no go? 3-no has very bad entry issues. So I would just run the Queen of Clubs at this stage and assume to lose to the King-10 of Clubs and hope that the fifth round diamond stands up. Um, you don't want to rough anything because then they might get into a forcing defense when clubs break 5-0, but currently a 5-0 club break shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Yeah, so I just laid the queen of clubs. Uh, like, there is a chance to go down in this with, like, West uh, losing two clubs to Allen and the fifth round of diamonds not being good. I'd feel pretty hard done by doing that, but, uh, yeah. I don't think roughing a spade or anything like that's any good. But Laura is, like, notoriously slow, like, um, with hands like this. This has, like, various options, and she's gonna, like, talk about it, and I reckon the video will go for, like, ten minutes. The bidding's already been pretty slow on what to do here. But, you know, at least there's some good excitement about getting doubled. Uh, yeah. I won't be able to talk about this hand for as long as Laura does. I know that's for sure. Okay, I would not be doing that. I don't see what that gained. I think she's protecting against 5-1 diamond splits, but then the Queen of Diamonds gets knocked off. So I think there's actually bad play here. But maybe she's come up with something I didn't see. Right, let's assume this doesn't get knocked off, but then it goes like Queen of Clubs and Alan just wins and gives their partner a diamond rough or something. I guess that's all particularly unlikely. Okay, so they've stood up. So now we don't have that diamond loser. So now you just run the Queen of Clubs and draw trumps as quickly as possible. But I think by cashing the ace queen of diamonds, you're giving up on possibilities of roughing out a top hard or a top spade or something like that. Come on, play the queen of clubs. Oh, this is slow and torturous watching from here. Like if clubs are five nil, we're we're fine. Like queen of clubs. Then we just rough something, and then ace of clubs, jack of clubs, we rough again, we draw. Right. I think they have to duck the queen of clubs, and then we might get tapped out, but at any rate. Yeah, so we've got the 5-0 split. Um, I think it's best to overtake the queen of clubs and play the jack. That stops the um, them ducking. So if she played Queen and Clubs to the Ace, Jack of Clubs, and stops them being uh, forced, I think that's better. Because we still only have two club losers. So you rough, you play Ace of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, they win. You rough again, you play Nine of Clubs. I think you should rough the first spade low, and you can rough the next one a bit higher. I guess that when you exit with a club here, they can 
uh, whatever they can return, that's fine. So she should have, should have put the jack of hearts on that. Yeah, Laura's getting tapped out here and going down. Um, if she overtook the queen of clubs and played queen to the ace and then led the jack of clubs, she would have been foreign and would have made five clubs doubled. But uh, forgot about getting tapped out with the 5 nil split. Um, yeah, not an obvious play to do to uh, overtake the uh, club queen with the ace, but you are home. So, yeah, Laura's in some trouble now and going down. Slow and still didn't get it right. Well done. <laughs> yeah. But cute hand, I like it. Um, yeah. They get their rough and now she's down. Hmm. Five clubs seemed like a sensible spot. I wonder how three no will go. Um, yeah, pretty of a messy hand. I don't like neither. Like east, west, north, south. Sorry, don't have that many tricks that they can take. But um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, that was hand number six. Really interesting hand. Um, technically on the plate, just needed to overtake the Queen of Clubs. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with the next hand.